guys aren't these glasses the cutest things ever i've been wearing them today and i just love them so much so i'm going to link them down below but that's not the point of this video hey pretties welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is tanya and i film all kinds of pink girly beauty fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel if that's what you're into make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and click the little bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos this video i'm going to be showing you guys my latest makeup favorites and for a beauty video i'm not even wearing that much makeup today like i'm not wearing a full face of makeup at all i'm I did this very very quick and the reason for that is because this isn't supposed to be the video that was going to be going up today i had another one that i already finished but that video had a sponsor in it and the sponsor is not responding right now to approve the video so i can't post it because in order for me to post it they have to approve it so that i can get paid and then does that make sense yeah you guys might like to keep it real with you guys when there's a sponsor or anything so yeah that video has a sponsor and so we're postponing that video and posting this video instead because i've been wanting to film this video for quite some time and i just have so many other videos on my list of videos to film that i kind of been putting it on the back burner but i definitely was excited to kind of have the opportunity to film this today instead so this video has no sponsors in it um but but it definitely has a bunch of the beauty products that I've been using and loving recently and also some holy grail products that I've been using all of last year all the way up until this year so I will talk a little bit about all of the products during this video what I love and it's been a hot minute since I've done an actual beauty video so I feel like it was long overdue I know I don't do too many tutorials on this channel anymore which I intend to do some more um, seasonal tutorials so um, I'm not going to completely stop doing makeup tutorials. I just feel like there's other videos that you guys like to see more like my decor, my DIYs, room tours, collection videos, what's in my bag, stuff like that that you guys actually always request and ask for. So of course I'm always listening to what you guys want. So that's why I've been doing those instead. But of course I haven't forgotten about doing beauty content and I am just very excited to show you guys all these products. I have been trying a lot of new stuff since my last makeup tutorial that I did and I just want to show you guys. I'm going to start out with some really awesome affordable products that you guys are going to probably jump at because I know I did. So the first thing are these little sponges. I know it looks just like a beauty blender but it's not and this is actually on Shop Miss A. If you guys don't know Shop Miss A, it's like a dollar store online. So I'm going to link them below. And you have to get these exact ones because I have ordered different ones from there and they're not the same as this exact one. This one is just super, super squishy and bouncy. It's just like a beauty blender when you wet it. And they're just super nice. I've been buying tons of these. I actually have a whole drawer of them. They do sell them in like sets and you guys want to know how i clean them i put them in you, do you guys know like those little laundry separators for you to put your bras or your panties in to separate them from the rest of your laundry but you can still wash them with the loader washing does that make sense i think they're called like like laundry bags that you can throw in the wash so what i do is i throw all of my dirty beauty sponges in there and i wash them like they're laundry and they come out squeaky clean so yes and I use Zote detergent to wash them, by the way. Next thing from there are some brushes. I have been completely impressed by these brushes. They come in this little, oops. They come in this little thing like this. So you can actually use as a little brush holder like this. And they, I know there's some dirty ones in here, but these are just really awesome eyeshadow brushes. I use these in my last life. Everything keeps falling. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Anyway, I used these in my last live and you guys were like, what brushes are those? So yeah, these are from Shop Miss A. I believe it's like the whole set of them for like nine or ten dollars. So super inexpensive. It makes them I think like about a dollar a brush. And then it just comes with the cute little cup holder or whatever that you can just store them in. Along, I have another couple of drugstore products I'm gonna show, then I'll get to all the like high-end luxury and prestige cosmetics. First, I have my favorite foundation ever and it is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm actually completely out of this. I need to go and buy another one because this is thebomb.com and I ran out of this the other day and I was super sad so I've been wearing my Chanel lately which is bad because I don't like wearing that every day because I run out of it super quick. 
and I like using it for like weekends or special occasions so yeah but my everyday foundation is the L'Oreal Freshwear what is going on with my phone it just keeps buzzing <laughs> Next drugstore product is a concealer and I know how hard it is to find good concealer at the drugstore but I've actually been really liking this lately. Do I love it more than my Too Faced Born This Way? Not really but I do like it enough to wear on a daily basis and it is just a very thick coverage concealer. It smells kind of like paint. <laughs> it looks like this. It's just really thick and it is very, very smooth. It reminds me a lot of Tarte Shape Tape. And it, it's kind of more hydrating than Tarte Shape Tape though. So I like that because Tarte Shape Tape can be a little bit drying if you have dry skin. So if you want something that's like the Tarte Shape Tape but you have dry skin, then try the Milani one because it's really, really good if you have dry skin. And it has that kind of a coverage and finish and it dries matte and it dries quick. So yeah, very similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Next, I'm going to show you guys some Kylie Cosmetics because I don't know what it is about Kylie Cosmetics. I always end up obsessing over one or two things. As hard as I try not to, I always reach for them. So yeah, let's talk about those. So like, is the packaging not the cutest thing ever? Like they're all pink. So this is the first product right here. This is a bronzer. This is in the color Toasty. This reminds me a lot of the tonality of my uh, Chanel Tan de Soleil. So if you have that, this is like the exact same tone as that except in a powder. And you can tell I use and abuse this a lot. I use it all of the time. It's kind of dirty from it. But yeah, it's very, very good bronzer. I'm actually going to buy a backup because I use this every single day. And then for powder, so this is going to be pretty interesting because I know a lot of people struggle to find good powders and if you have dry skin, you especially struggle to find good powder. And this has worked wonders for my skin. I like how it sets my makeup. It doesn't have any flashback. It makes my face look smooth. And it is the Kylie Translucent Powder. And I use a very, very small amount all over, like under my eyes and my forehead and stuff. And honestly, it works for me. It just does. And I like that it doesn't have any flashback. I like how it makes my face feel. It doesn't feel like a lot of the times because of the dryness on my skin, my skin feels like it's like, I don't know, like stiff after I put powder. And I really like that this doesn't make my face feel stiff. So yeah, you need this powder if you have dry skin. I have two more Kylie products. Who knew? I put a little basket of stuff right here for me to show you guys and I basically just dumped all of my everyday stuff in there because it made sense. So I have two Kylie lipsticks, the other one is missing in action in one of my bags or something because it's my favorite, I use it all the time and it is Kylie Coco K. If you ever notice like a mauve pink color on me, that's probably what I'm wearing except I'm not wearing it today but usually that's what I'm wearing it's always either that one or if it's like a warmer pink I wear bare so this is bare right here and this lip liner right here I'm going to talk about next because this lip liner is what I wear underneath all of my pink lipsticks this is Kylie Jenner's lip liner in iced latte and this looks amazing if you have like medium to tan skin tone but you want to pull off those pink lipsticks without them washing you out you will definitely want to use the slip liner first and then do the pink lip and it creates this beautiful effect where it doesn't necessarily make you look washed out it accentuates your lips but you can still wear those really pretty soft pink colors on your lips i have a couple of benefit products that i've been just using daily and well, I have more than a couple. I have three, right? Yeah, I have three. So the first one is my brow pencil. This brow pencil is so freaking good. I've used this for years and I always end up going back to it. This is the uh, goof, pr goof Proof Brow Pencil. And if you're wondering, I use the color 4.5. And yes, I use this color even whenever I have black hair. Um, it's not good to use an extremely dark color on your brows, no matter how dark your hair is. You always want to go two or three shades lighter than your actual hair color when it comes to your brows so that they don't look crazy and sharpie. So yeah, 
Goop Proof Brow Pencil. Do you guys have heard me talk about this way too much? You're probably tired of hearing about it, but I love it. So I'm going to mention it again because this is a beauty favorite. And it is the Tickle Highlighter. And I'm wearing that right now. And I just love that it's just such a wearable rose gold highlighter. And like it looks super, super pink in the package. And then when you swatch it, it's like the complete opposite of like what it looks like. Because it's like just like the most beautiful. I'm going to try to just show you on my fingers because I don't think that showed you very well. But yeah, it's the most beautiful like iridescent rose gold blonde gold mixture of a highlighter it's perfect if you have medium and tan skin it will even work if you have fair skin and it is just super super pretty it looks like that wet dewy look and that's what i love about it and i always throw this on everywhere i put it on my brow bones i put it on my inner corners i put it on my cheekbones my nose just everywhere if i could bathe in this i probably would not really actually kidding about that either of course you guys know this is my all-time favorite holy grail concealer it's the Too Faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer I do use um, either the color porcelain or the color almond depending on how tan I am at the moment like if I'm self tan or you know just naturally tanned because it's summer Yes, so I will use almond if I want like something that is a lot lighter because I'm like my natural skin color like right now Then I use the color porcelain and my MAC shades go from NC 25 to NC 35 depending on how tan I am So yeah, a couple of luxury treats to sh share with you guys and these are from Chanel and this is a holy grail for, this has been my holy grail product for a very long time. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel and this is just the most beautiful beautiful sculpting cream to powder type of a product and if you are just a beginner at contouring or you don't know what you're doing or you want something that's kind of foolproof that you're not gonna look muddy this is going to be your best friend. This is extremely user friendly. It's extremely, extremely easy to blend. It just basically, as soon as you put it on your skin, it melts into your skin like butter. It's just a beautiful product. And I've had this for a year and I'm not even halfway done with it. It does have a 18 month um, shelf lifespan. So again, it expires after 18 months. So you can use this up to a year and a half since it's only been a year and I've only used literally like not even half. By the time that it reaches its expiration date, I might end up throwing some of it away. So yeah, lasts a very long time. Also, this is my favorite foundation of all time. Like from all the foundations I've ever tried, I'm talking NARS, I'm talking, you know, other Chanel foundations, any foundation honestly just on my dry skin this works very well it does what i want it to do it makes my skin look soft it makes it look porcelain at the same time it's not cakey and it's not thick and it's not heavy and it lasts all day even through the gym so it's crazy this is the chanel um all ultra wear all day comfort foundation i go between the colors of bd31 and bd41 that depends on how tan i am and if i'm in between those i just mix them so yeah looks like and i do have a review about this foundation on my channel somewhere so i will link it down below here's another holy grail i started using this in december actually it was in december it was in november because i got it for black friday so I got it from their Black Friday deal. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And when I tell you guys this has saved my skin so many times, like if I'm feeling powdery or like my makeup's looking cakey or anything like that, I literally just spray this and it is like magic. I'm just like, wow, I end up looking so dewy and refreshed and just so fresh faced that I just cannot stop using this. I actually bought a second one for my clients because that's how much I love this. Oh my gosh, it works wonders on my dry skin clients. It just looks so beautiful. It also smells really good and a lot of people always compliment whenever I spray this on them. So yeah. 
Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. If you're crusty, you need this. I have three more lip products. <laughs> Why do you know they're nude? But these are some of my favorite nudes. I alternate between the Kylie ones that I showed you earlier and these three every single day. And it's so bad because I stay buying more lip products. As you can see, I have a ton of lip products. And I always go back to these three, so it's like, what is wrong with me? I really need to like try the other ones. But these are my favorites lately. And I always go through that phase where I have like four or five favorite lip products that I alternate with, depending on the eye look that I'm wearing. And I just use them until they're gone, pretty much. And my Coco K, I think I've bought that one like four or five times already, so... The first one, I just feel like this is a must-have and the reason why I say that is because I literally have not been able to find another lip product that is this exact color, that looks this exact way, and that is that lasts this long on the lips and it feels as comfortable on the lips as this. This is Dose of Colors. This is in the color Sand. I believe I just saw Daisy Marcus talking about this and I was like, yes girl, I have that. I know exactly what you mean, but this is so beautiful it's the perfect perfect nude it is not too pinky it is not orangey it is just neutral and it looks like this it looks beautiful paired up with a darker brown lip liner like mac cork or kkw 2.5 which is another favorite i'm going to talk about but beautiful beautiful liquid lip it's so moussey and soft and airy and it just does not feel like you're wearing anything um, the formula is just kind of like, it's just very lightweight. Next lip product I have is what I'm actually wearing right now, and this is from Jeffree Star. This is in the color I'm Nude, and this has been a favorite of mine since, I believe, 2018. Like around the end of 2018 is how long I've been using this lip product i've already gone through like three tubes of this liquid lipstick so definitely a staple this is just the most perfect super light nude with a hue pinky hue to it so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like next to sand so you can see how much more pinky that it is so here is jeffree star i'm nude at the bottom and then sand is on top there the very last one, this is the newest favorite that I have and surprisingly the name of this one is also Sand and this is from Anastasia. This came in a little like set of four of them so if I can find them I'll link it down below. If I can find it on its own I'll also link it down below. So this one is just like more nude but it has more of a peachy hue to it so that's it right here on top just want to make sure you guys can see right here so this is sand by anastasia this is sand by dose of colors and then this is i'm nude by jeffree star so you can kind of see the difference there love my lip products i have one more for you guys and it is this kkw beauty lip liner i have completely replaced my mac cork with this because i like how smooth that this lip liner goes on versus cork by mac cork by mac is still always going to be a staple and a favorite and i definitely love it but this is cheaper as well and it works just as well if not better so this is the kkw lip liner in 2.5 well it's called nude 2.5 and it is exactly like mac cork i'll actually show you guys a swatch real quick i have max cork right here i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of that and then KKW, oh my gosh, it's like dupe, 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 dupe. So here we are. So Cork is at the bottom, the MAC one, and then Ky Kylie, <laughs> Kim Kardashian, um, KKW Beauty is on the top in nude 2.5. Oh, I'm like running out of breath from talking so much, guys. So I do have some palettes to show you guys. I'm going to save the newest for last. The oldest first this palette i got oh my gosh i don't even remember to be completely honest it was just so long ago but i always reach for this palette like no matter what like i just cannot deny that this is probably my favorite palette of all time and this is Too faced semi-sweet a chocolate bar palette it's it is just 
very abused <laughs> and I love it because it has the right tones that make my brown eyes pop and at the same time you get the vanilla color you get the black color and it's just a very well made very solid palette that you can travel with because the case is just super protective and I just really like this palette a lot I always find myself reaching for it. Next to our recent favorites, this one I got, well, when it launched, which was around sometime last year, like the end of last year, this is the Carly Bible with Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I really love the colors in this palette. I like that it has such different tones, like the very um, cool tone purples. Um, you just don't see cool tone purples too much in palettes. And I really like that. I like the mixture of that with the warm tones and the mauves. I love that you get the cool tone row at the top and then the warm tone row at the bottom. And to me, I just feel like Anastasia shadows can do no wrong. Like, I love Anastasia shadows so much. You can get so creative with them. They're so versatile, so pigmented, so blendable. Next palette is their latest one. And this is a new favorite. This is the Amrezi palette. I've had this for like... A little bit now not too long and I don't know I just can't stop reaching for it every single day that I think the colors are beautiful I think that they're they inspire me they inspire me to do my makeup and I love that they made this such a solid palette by adding a dark brown and a black because no matter what look you do I feel like you always need a black eyeshadow always no matter what so I just really like this palette a lot obviously the packaging is gorgeous but besides it being super cute the quality is also there a hundred percent Amrezi did a great job at collaborating with Anastasia for this palette I think this screams her and I really like it and I feel like it also kind of screams me but yeah I feel like I relate to this palette okay you guys now that I feel like I'm starting to my voice feels like it's just starting to dim down from talking so much. Don't know why. It's just like, ouch. Maybe I'm getting sick. I hope not. But anyway, that is everything for my beauty favorites for now, you guys. I'm going to try to update you guys on new beauty favorites when I have them. Maybe seasonally, because I just feel like I don't try enough products to do it monthly anymore thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video if you stayed until the end leave me this emoji right here in the comment section also i want to hear what your favorites are down below especially if the packaging is pink just let me know what your favorites are so i can go check them out because i need to try more new makeup i don't feel like i try enough makeup anymore so just let me know Alrighty, guys i love y'all and i will talk to you on the next video Mwah. bye